Hi everyone, I'm Stefano from 3D Rendering Beyond. A couple of days ago, uh, someone on the Chaos Forum asked for an X-ray shader for V-Ray for Cinema 4D. And today I want to share with you how to build it. This shader will show both the interior and the exterior of the object, so it's important to use a detailed mesh with all the internal components. In my case, I'm reusing some hardware model I've made some time ago. It's a very detailed mesh, so I've added away a few parts, otherwise the results uh, would have been uh, a bit confusing with too many objects. Now we are ready to build our shader. Activate uh, Cinema 4D Material Override and load uh, V-Ray shader here on uh, Custom Material. We can also turn off the preview to get uh, faster viewport feedback. Now we can start the viewport interactive rendering. The first thing to do is to add some self-illumination so that the components will glow over a dark background. If you want, you can also give some tint to the color slot. Then be sure to activate compensate camera exposure to get the correct result for the physical camera. We won't need the diffuse component, so we can turn it black. Now we will start to mask the self-illumination using a couple shader inside the opacity slot. Let's add the V-Ray Fall of Shader here. Switch black and white values. And set it in uh, perpendicular parallel mode. Now we need to customize the Fall of Curve to get more contrast. We will use a Cinema 4D filter shader for that. Activate gradation curves at the point here and draw something like this. This is starting to look nice. To get more details on the edges, we can use a V-Ray curvature shader layer on top of the falloff effect. So, Add the Cinema 4D layer and load the V-Ray Curvature Shader. Now we want to tune some parameters to adjust it to our needs. Remember that uh, Curvature effect can be quite complex to render, so don't be surprised if you notice some slowdown. The first thing to do is to set the scale. Here the hardware details are pretty small, so we will lower it to 0.05. Of course, this parameter is uh, scene dependent, so you may want to adjust the scale to fit your model detail. This already looks good to me, so just give it a bit more contrast by tuning the max output color and maybe the gamma. Very nice. Now let's put the curvature shader in additive mode so that uh, it will be added over the fall of map. And we are done. It's a very cool effect and can be useful for cinematic effects, motion graphics and much more. I hope you have enjoyed our video and if you like our content please consider to like the video and subscribe to our channel. 